Hey YouTube, what's going on? Doing a video I've been wanting to do for a while now. And I wanted to compare the actual Strider SNG versus the new or newer Protec SNG. So they've been doing this collab for a little while now. And obviously Protec and Strider both made in the United States of America. The Design obviously is very old. Um, and man, I've had SNGs for years. One of my favorite all time designs. This one is the ATAX multicam black, multicam on the back. Um, USN sh uh, show special last year, PD1 steel. This is a pretty special one. Um, it's a more, a newer variation, which they've been using aluminum scales a lot lately. So this is a pretty good comparison because this is all aluminum as well. The Protex is going to have aluminum handles. Um, same design, same pocket clip. Biggest difference, obviously, is this is an auto. Push button auto. So it's going to have the button lock mechanism for the auto versus the frame lock on the Strider. Another obvious difference is the price. Huge difference, right? Um, this particular SNG was like $650 at the show. Um, a typical SNG that you could find directly from Strider, um, if you were able to buy one and get lucky you'd be like 450, 500 range. So they are definitely on the higher end of knives, but they make very little, they don't make in, in large batches. They're all made in California. They, uh, you know, they do drops, they sell it in seconds. They have a huge fan base. So I like that they've came out with a collaboration with an American company like ProTech, not a Chinese company um, to make their knives, but they went with ProTech. And they said, look, make us, let's make some uh, SNG autos and some PT autos. So you've got an SNG or a PT available. Um, and they're under, you know, you can get them under 200 bucks. So it's a great deal. 154 CM steel. Uh, that is going to be a big difference. Strider hasn't used that steel in, I don't know if ever, but a long time if they haven't. Strider's definitely more on the cutting edge of um, steels these days. Like the PD1, they're using 4, 3V, they're using... 20 CV and a lot of their new knives, you know, they're definitely, you're definitely getting a big steel upgrade. But to I mean, is that steel upgrade worth that extra 250 bucks? That's, you know, that's the question here, right? Both companies made in the US, both with good reputations. Um, if you like automatic knives, the side opener, man, this thing fires out so hard. Um, before I to get too deep into this, I do want to shout out Blade Ops for providing this SNG for this comparison video and sponsoring this video. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the ProTech SNG from Blade Ops. This is all blacked out dark version. They've done multiple different types. They have one Damascus blades. They did, um, they do like olive green, blue, all kinds of different colors. So just keep a lookout. They're available out there. Um, so what's the difference? You know, obviously the price is a huge difference. The steel type and obviously the frame lock manual folder versus a button lock automatic folder. But there's obviously some other differences here, right? I mean, both are made in the U.S. by high-quality manufacturers, so you're getting a quality knife. A lot of people have the misconception that Striders... Well, I shouldn't say it's a misconception. They're just going off old Striders. One I've heard a few times people in videos say, oh, this is a much slicier blade. It's a better blade geometry than the SNGs that Strider makes, which is actually not true. Um, the newer Striders have a really nice... They're really thin behind the edge. So yeah, they have a, this is a fatty. So look at the difference in blade stock. Pretty significant, right? Um, but this SNG is about 18 thousandths behind the edge, which is pretty thin for a huge, you know, beefy knife, right? So it's a good slicer. It, it's a really good cutter, actually. All the new striders are thin behind the edge. This ProTech is coming in right around 20, two, well, that's 20, yeah, 22. I think I got it down to 21 thousandths behind the edge at one point. So the stri the ProTechs are actually thicker behind the edge than the new striders. So keep that in mind, guys. That's kind of a fallacy I keep hearing in some of these comparisons. I Actually, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do an actual SNG comparison with a ProTech, most of the time they're just doing the ProTech and don't have an SNG in their hands. Or they're going off an old Strider. Now, the old Strider SNGs, I've owned many, 
were thick behind the edge. They were like 24,000s, 25,000s, you know, they were not thin. What's great about the new Striders, and if you can get a new one, it doesn't have to even be this special one. Any of the new production Striders are going to have that thin grind. So I've seen them even as thin as 17,000s. I think my Monkey Edge Frag was 17,000. So keep that in mind. Compare it to a new Strider or a modern Strider, and you're definitely... Um, you're definitely going to, you know, get a really good cutting performance out of these knives. Now, the hard thing is, is that these are pretty easy to get. You can, there's multiple retailers that sell these. They're, they're obtainable. <laughs> Striders are really not obtainable. They're very, very hard to get. Like, in, I mean, I waited in line for hours at the uh, USN show to get this exact model. Um, when they do their drops, they announce them on Instagram. They're very hard to they, they sell out instantly. I mean, it's like a Spider Coast Sprint Run, right? Even probably more. So, because there's way less of them made. So, you know, they, the, the readily availableness of a Strider is really tough, you know? But what I would suggest you do is you get one of these guys. If you don't have a Strider and you're interested in the SNG and you want to check it out, try out a ProTech SNG. It's going to give you a really good idea of what the, hand, the knife's going to feel like in the hand because the ergonomics are the same on these knives. Actually, I would say the Protex a little better, only because of the clip position with the with the frame lock and the LBS, you have to position where they do. The clip position here can just be anywhere because it's a um, button lock. So this actually feels a little bit better in hand, actually, even than the, the regular SNG. But I like the SNG ergonomics. They work well for my hand. I like the forward choil, the jimping's in the right place. It's just a great design. So if you're interested in checking one out, I would highly recommend trying the SNG by ProTech first. Obviously, the, the button lock and the, the mechanism is going to be different, but the overall field and ergonomics are going to be the same, how they carry in the pocket, very, very similar. Uh, I think the weight is a little lighter on the ProTech. should be anyway. Let's check it out. So this guy is... 5.1 ounces. It should be under five. Yeah, not a lot though. I mean, you're talking 0.2 ounces. So not a whole lot of difference. Um, so yeah, you'll get a good idea of the weight, you know, of, of carrying this knife as an ABC knife. All right, guys. So as you can see, oops, sorry. The weight different. There's a very minimal difference. So if you're looking to get into an SNG, I highly recommend you try out the ProTech. I think it's a good gateway drug, so to speak. Uh, to the SNG design, if you're very interested in always trying it, it's a lot less expensive um, than buying an SNG. And you may find, hey, it works great for me, but I do recommend, if you like this design, to try to get an actual SNG because it's an iconic tr Holy Trinity knife, you know, the Strider, the Hinderer, and the Chris Reeve, right? I highly, highly recommend it um, as a hard use folder. It's hard to beat, especially because they've thinned out that grind. Um, just really, you know, great warranty on these guys. So if just keep in mind though, that it's not going to be an easy task to, to track one down. They pop up on the exchange, but they tend to go for at least a hundred to $200 more than what they sold for. So my best recommendation on that as well is to try to get one on a drop because otherwise you're going to be overpaying. I admittedly overpaid for this knife, but this was actually the drop price, but it was, you know, unique and um, there was very few of these made, um, so it's always going to hold its value really well. But that's a user knife for me. I carry it all the time, use it all the time. Um, but if you want to get into SNGs, I highly recommend checking out the ProTech. It's a really, really good, um, I mean, as close as you're ever probably going to get to an SNG without actually buying one. Um, and it's, you know, it's a ProTech, so it's got a nice snappy action, high quality. I mean, the centering is perfect on this guy. It's, there's no blade play. Again, you'll be able to check out those ergonomics, that how it carries, how it you know uses the blades. We're very similar in ground, not quite the same. And obviously the steel is not gonna be as good on the ProTech, but you're paying 200 bucks versus 450 plus. All right guys, that's gonna wrap this video on this comparison. Let me know your thoughts down below and we will talk to you on the next video.